Hi there. So what we're going to do today is instead of multiplying polynomials, we're going to talk about factoring polynomials. Okay, so today is going to be the first day that we talk about this, and we're going to talk about it for a few days because there'll be a few different methods that we have to deal with. Um, but today's method is called common factors. And uh, you'll see what we mean by common, but first I want to talk about what factors are. So let's go back to grade 7. And if I asked you to factor the number 6, or if your grade 7 teacher asked you to factor the number 6, you would write that 6 is equal to 3 times 2. All right, those are the factors of 6. So when you're asked to factor, what you're really being asked is what numbers were multiplied to make 6. All right, so what two numbers were multiplied to make 6? So I want you to keep that in mind. And I want you to remember our guy that uh, went to the party to meet the two people. Okay. So what we're doing here is we're doing the backwards process of multiplying, right? So remember for him, he was out here, right? And these two guys were in the house and he went to say hi to both, right? So the common factor, the part that's common to both is him. So we can always take him out of the party, right? So he's kind of lame and nobody wants him at the party. So they say go away and he gets factored out, okay? So he has to be here and here right, because he wants to say hi to everybody, and then to pull him back out, we have to take him out of each part to fully factor him out of the part, okay? So, let's see what that looks like with numbers. Well, here, it looks like there's nothing common, right? So here, there was the guy, there was the guy, we pulled him out. Here, it looks like there's nothing common. However, we could easily say that that's six, is actually 2 times 3, right? So the 6 is actually 2 times 3. So now we say, wait a minute, there is something in common. There's a 2, right? So that means that we can take the 2 out, take the 2 out, and the factored form of this is actually this, okay? All right, so let's see a few more examples. So here we go. So we've got 2x plus 4 is equal to something, right? So there's going to be something common out there, and then there's going to be something there, okay? So first I want to show you what happens when I set this up with tiles. So I need 2x tiles, so 1, 2, and then I need 4 unit tiles, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so you can see that I can line them up like this, and it kind of looks like it fits. But then the problem is that, remember, these tiles have to be made from something here times something here. And these four tiles require four tiles, but this tile just requires one tile, which means that these four tiles don't belong there. So let's try to rearrange them in a different way. So here, here, here. And now, all of a sudden, I can fill these spaces in. All right, so I can say, well, here... There must have been one of this, because that's what matches all the way down. And here, there must have been this, because that length matches all the way down. And then along the side, there must have been that, all right? So you see how here we have x plus 2, and here we have 2. So that tells us that 2x plus 4 is actually equal to 2 times x plus 2. Okay, now let's look at this thing here with just the algebra, and we have to figure out what's common. Well, there's a factor of 2 here, and there's an x here. Here there's a 4. Well, the 4 is actually 2 times 2. So you see how there is a common factor of 2. So just like I took the guy out of the party, I can take the 2 out of there, and what I'm left with is x there and a 2 there. All right, so 2 times x plus 2. Okay, so let's do one more with algebra tiles. So x squared plus 6x, let me line them up. So there's an x squared, and then I need 6x's. So really the only way that I can make a rectangle out of this is if I do this, 4, 5, 6, right? And now what fills in? Well, here this has to be x by x, so that's x squared. And then since I've got an x here, the only logical thing that fills in here is a 1. A 1 there, 1, and 1. 
right? So you see how what we end up with is x plus 6, or just x, right? So that means that we're looking at x times x plus 6, or 6 plus x. Okay? So here, let's look at breaking this down, right? So is there something common? Well, yeah, there's an x in both, right? But what's going to be left over? Well, x squared is x times x. 6x is 6 times x. So you see how the x is common. So I'm going to pull that out, and I'll be left with an x there, and I'll be left with a 6 here. So there is our answer. Okay. All right, so let's try one without the tiles. So here, um, so first I'm going to do it just by looking at it, okay? And then I'll break it down. So is there something common? Yes. There's a 2 here, and this 8 is comprised of 2 times 4, right? So that means I can take a 2 out. And what I'm left with is x cubed plus, here I should be left with a 4, because 2 times 4 makes 8, and I'm left with an x squared. Okay? Now, whenever you're factoring, you have to ask yourself, is there something else that I can factor out? Well, actually, here, there's x cubed, and here there's x squared. So I can definitely take an x out. Okay? Now, remember what factoring is. It's trying to figure out what two things are multiplied. So that means that here, I still have x squared, because x times x squared was multiplied to make x cubed. And here, I still have my 4. I haven't taken it out. And x squared, if I take an x out, I'm just left with an x, because x times x is x squared. Now, is there anything else? Well, yes. There's 2x. I can also take out another x. So if I take out another x from here, I've just got an x left. If I take out an x from here, I've got a 4 left. So really, the answer is 2x squared, x plus 4. That's our answer, okay? Now, I want you to see that I could have just done that in one step. So 2x cubed plus 8x squared is, so what's the total common? Well, there's a 2 there, there's a 2 there. So I take it out. Here, x cubed is like x squared times x. So there's a common part of x squared. So I'm going to take out x squared. Now let's figure out what's left. Well, what did I need to multiply here to end up with 2x cubed? Well, I've got my 2, I've got my x squared, so I just need one more x. So this times this is 2x cubed. Check. Here, I have 8x squared. Well, if I've got 2x squared, what I needed to multiply that to was a 4, because 2x squared times 4 is 8x. So that's my final answer, right? Both ways, same answer. So that is common factoring. And uh, that's all. See you in class.